This video is about my ozone reactor setup. Over here on the door, you can see the uh, actual ozone generator, an air pump, and an air dryer. The reactor is the one with the white polyfill in the middle there. And then a carbon reactor to the right of it, and a pump that pumps the water. Uh, starting over here at the air pump, this, this pump here has got a little controller dial on it. You can see it turns, this will be fully up and down. And it pushes air through this air dryer. It's important to get as much air out, of, I mean water out of the air as possible. It feeds into the uh, ozone generator. It basically is a, creates an electronic spark and sends it through the air, splitting the oxygen atoms, creating the ozone. Um, so here it's upside down, but it's reading 257 um, warp right now. And if you want to, there's a lot of good stuff on the internet about warp. So I'm not going to get into that. Uh, this thing's got a toggle switch here that switches from the reading to the uh, setting for the generator and how much it's pumping out right now. And as you can see, it goes down to zero because it's not on right now. The thing I don't like about this generator is it creates a lot of noise. Um, I'll set this thing up a little bit and you can hear it. And it shows that it's generating upside down. It's actually this way. 62 milligrams per hour of ozone, and you can turn this thing down, and you can see the numbers dropping, and also the noise goes down with it. I don't know what to do with the noise. I'll probably go into the box and put some foam in it or some sound bedding in the material, maybe put some rubber behind the uh, generator with none of the door that might help uh, soften the noise too. But this video, I'll go ahead and turn it down so that it's not on, at least the setting down. Um, this is the probe uh, connection here. And anyway, so once the air goes through the generator, and you silicone safe tubing, it comes through here, down this tube here, then up here, and into this um, flow meter. And as you can see here, it's reading about one uh, standard cubic foot per hour. I guess that's what that is. Um, anyway, as I turn the air pump down or up, uh, you can the uh, well, the little ball that's suspended by the airflow goes up. This is with the uh, pump all the way on. And I'm going to turn the pump down a little bit. So then that air comes out of the flow meter. This tube right here. The check valve right there. And then it goes into this venturi. Where it mixes the air right at this point right here. The water from the tanks coming into this elbow. There's a mag 3 pump right here. That's throttled back a little bit. And then the air and ozone mix goes into this uh, reactor chamber. Uh, you can see there's a distribution plate right there where it goes across the distribution plate. And then it trickles through this media to get the surface contact where the um, water from the tank is being um, basically fused with the ozone. Uh, the intent of the ozone is to uh, break down um, heavier proteins or waste products to make it easier to skim and make the water clear. Now you can see this is pretty much because it's pressurized, it's pushing all the water down to the bottom and there's a tube in the middle that you cannot see and the water goes and water and ozone go back up the middle tube to come out here. And this tube here. And because it's still ozone enriched, it runs over here, it goes into another reactor, this one full of carbon. It also goes through a distribution plate up here hard to see on this one, which allows it to trickle down through the activated carbon all the way down to the bottom. And this thing actually um, pulses, because it will not, not lose a little bit, quite a bit of pressure by now, but you can see how the pressure builds up and pushes the air and water out. And it's filled back up again and the pressure builds up and the water goes back out. That water then goes back over to the other side of my sump and into the skimmer section over here. I'll probably put something on to soften the bubbling sound. Um, you can see the, the bubbling water kind of surging in and out going through the skimmer section of the pump over there. Again, the ozone, what it does, it breaks out heavy proteins, makes it easier for it to the skin out of the tank, which is removing nutrients out of the water, or I should say excess nutrients. Um, one more walkthrough. Ozone generator, air pump, air dryer, silicone tubing, airflow 
meter, not necessarily, but it does show that you've got airflow, which is important. Check valve, mix inventory, although all they could do without it, it's just really a matter of, uh, allows the two to create a little bit of extra contact time there. The ozone reactor. Carbon filter. And then return to the 